Okay, so now I'm tinkering with the uh, AFC top here. I pulled out the tamper resistant cover. I just poked a hole in it with an awl and I just pried it out. And now in here, you can see there's a, uh, a Torx screw and a lock nut. That lock nut is 13 millimeter. I already loosened that. And now I'm gonna take the Allen screw, or the uh, Torx screw rather, all the way out. Get that out of the way and I will uh, machine the AFC top here to a little visual. Here's the diaphragm, it goes together like so. And at zero boost, the, uh, the spring pushes this pin into the top and if you take this out, take uh, this little shoulder thing out, this pin can slide, can travel deeper or higher up into this cap, which allows the fuel pin to ride lower down on the, on the, on the bevel here. So you get a more complete travel on the, on the slide pin, fuel pin. Well, here's the uh, machined AFC top. As you see, that shoulder's taken out. Machined nice and flat. Now, I have total control over the zero boost position of the tapered fuel pin with the screw that's in the center there. I, of course, I took the lock nut off. There's a lock nut for that. The way this was machined, it was just put on a lathe and it was held on this boss here with a collet. And uh, that boss is true enough to machine that nice and flat. So that's it for the AFC top. Hope this helped some of you guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, leave a suggestion and check out my other VE pump improvement videos. Thanks for watching.